I wonder why my cupcake turned out so flat. I think I followed the recipe exactly. Hi guys, Kate here and welcome to the Wonder Lab. I think I know what happened to my cupcakes. I completely forgot to put one very, very important ingredient. I got distracted and I totally forgot to put baking powder in. And the recipe called for two teaspoons. Uh-oh. Well, let me go into my kitchen and try again. Whoa, who would have thought that such a small amount of this white baking stuff can make such a huge difference? But apparently it can, guys, because look what I got this time. Look at this cake. This is looking much better now. This time the cake did rise and it has a lot more volume to it and also air bubbles. All right, so how did this magic powder create all these bubbles inside our cupcake? The answer is actually pretty simple, guys. It's chemical reaction. That's when one kind of matter changes into another. For example, if you start with simple water and you put some baking powder in it, you will see a chemical reaction occur. With all this fizzing and bubbles forming. So you just changed baking powder and water into another substance that contains carbon dioxide gas. These are the bubbles that you see coming up on the surface. Carbon dioxide bubbles, these are the same bubbles that you see in your fizzy drinks. So when you add baking powder to your butter, carbon dioxide gas bubbles get released. They bubble up inside the butter mixture, trying to escape to the surface. Then, when we put our cake into the oven, even more bubbles get formed because of the heat. These bubbles get trapped by protein in the eggs, and this is how the butter rises. And this is what makes your cupcakes so fluffy and spongy. I wonder what traps all these bubbles in an air chocolate bar. So why does baking powder react with water? Well, baking powder is actually made up of a base, baking soda, and an acid cream of tartar. When these two come together in a wet environment, they react and produce bubbles of carbon dioxide. Look, when I put baking soda in a vinegar, the same thing happens when I mix baking soda with lemon juice or orange juice. or even yogurt. They all react because all of them contain some kind of acid and that acid reacts with a base, sodium bicarbonate, that is also known as baking soda. So instead of putting baking powder into my cupcakes, I could have just put some baking soda and vinegar to activate the reaction. And this is exactly what I did. And look what happened. The cake turned out to be perfectly fluffy and full of air, just like when I use baking powder. Now you guys know more about acid-base reactions and are ready to make your own cupcakes. And make sure they don't fall flat on you, just like they did for me. 
on the first try. Hey guys, if you want to take this acid-base reaction experiment to the next level, try adding some soap to vinegar before mixing in baking soda. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna add some vinegar first to this vessel. About one cup. Then I'm gonna mix in some soap. Don't know how much, the more the better. And just to make it more colorful and fun, as usual, <laughs> I'm gonna add some red food coloring. But you can pick whatever color you like. Now, to make this acid-base reaction go even faster and make it more vigorous and crazy, I'm going to mix my baking soda with some water. I'm adding about, oh, I would say, a couple of teaspoons. So we're gonna pre-mix it. We're also gonna give this thing a good stir so that vinegar is well mixed with the soap. Now, guys, if you're trying this experiment, try to do it outside or put a tray to catch any spills. And I'll show you what I mean. Are you guys ready for this? Five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Oh my God, look at all this froth. That's the funky froth, my friends, right here. That's what happens when you mix acid and the base and add some soap to trap all these bubbles of carbon dioxide that get formed. And this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love science and if you would like to see more fun science experiments, subscribe to this channel. Can't wait to see you again. Bye for now.